Hey guys, today I want to check out all the different dates we see on food. Things like best buy, use buy, best if use buy, freeze buy, sell buy. I mean, there's a ton of different phrases and are all these different or what do they even mean? And particularly, does it mean that the food has become unsafe to eat and we should throw it out? Or is it just a minor change in quality? That is what I want to tackle today. Just so you know, I'm talking about the US food regulations and labeling. The US version is what I'm most familiar with, so that's what we'll be focusing on today. And actually in the US, only one food product has to have a date printed on it, and that is infant formula. Every other food, even though it's very common to see a date printed on a Best Buy and Use By date, that is actually not required by law. That is simply the manufacturers can volunteer to put a date on their product. They do not legally have to do this, which is why I think this sort of thing has gotten very confusing because it's each manufacturer saying, okay, yeah, let's, I, I wanna put a date on it so people know when our product is, is high quality. And so this has led to a lot of different phrases. We see best buy, best used by, uh, sell by, and that's because everyone can kind of pick what words they want to use and what date they would like to print on it because there are no laws governing this except for baby formula. Every other food product, this is just voluntary. And what I'm getting to is that these dates you see on any foods besides infant formula, they are just dates that tell you when the food is at its highest quality. And the specific date printed for quality is chosen by the manufacturer, whoever makes that food. So of course the manufacturer wants to use this to their benefit because they only want you, the consumer, to eat their product while it's at that highest quality. So the dates you see printed on any other food besides infant formula are when the manufacturer thinks the product has gone down in quality. And these could be just slight changes in quality. Maybe the texture gets a little off or the flavor gets a little weird over time. So in no way is the product necessarily unsafe. The manufacturer just wants you to know this is not the original quality of the product. So while there's not a lot of uniformity with the phrases that go along with the dates on foods, all the phrases, regardless of what they are, they are really just quality markers. But let me walk you through the most common phrases. The first, let's look at best if used by. So what this date means is that the manufacturer believes that if you eat or drink this product before this date, it is at its highest, its peak quality. So again, this is not a safety marker, right? The next most common one I would say is sell by. And really this day is just for the grocery store. It's to help them manage their inventory. It's not really meant for consumers. So I wouldn't worry about the sell by date. Third, I see used by or use by date. And this is the last date the manufacturer recommends for you to use the product because after that, it's not at its peak quality. So again, not a safety marker. You can use this. You can use a product after the use by date. No big deal. And the last phrase I want to touch on is freeze by. And this is used to say, if you get to this date, you're better off putting the food in the freezer to maintain its peak quality. But again, if you didn't freeze it by that date, it's still okay to eat. Just give the product a quick check for spoilage. How can you do this check? Well, use your nose. Does it smell right? Or does it smell like it has some off odors and flavors? And visibly do a check. Is there any mold, yeast, or bacteria visibly growing on the food? If you see that, please don't eat that food. That food can make you sick. But in general, as a food goes past its best by date, it's still okay to eat. You might just notice small quality differences because again, these dates are not a marker of its safety. It's more a quality thing. 
Now, if this surprised you, please let me know in the comments. I think a lot of people believe these dates are printed on for safety and that if it goes past the specify date, most people will toss out this food, but really there's no need to toss it out unless you can see or smell spoilage. And so we can prevent a ton of food waste by better understanding what these dates and phrases on our foods really mean. Now, if you've made it this far, please give this video a thumbs up. Please subscribe to my channel and I will talk to you next time.